When creating flows, there are a number of tricks and tips that can be used to make you more productive. The standard way of wiring two nodes together is to click and drag from one node's port to the destination node. When wiring from an output to an input, you don't have to release the mouse exactly over the port, you can release the mouse over any part of the target node. To delete a wire, first you select it, then you hit the delete key. Rather than have to drag the mouse, if you press and hold the control key or command on Mac, then you can click on the source port and click on the destination port. If you keep the control key pressed, then you're in quick join mode and the editor will automatically start a new wire from the node you last clicked on. This lets you wire a chain of existing nodes together very easily. Releasing the key at any time leaves quick join mode. Holding the control key when you click on the workspace brings up the quick add dialog. This provides a list of all nodes in your palette that you can scroll through and filter. At the top it shows the fine main core nodes, followed by recently used nodes, and then all the rest. Clicking on a node in that list will add an instance of it to your workspace. If you keep the control key down, then it will go into quick join mode. Control clicking on an existing wire will bring up the quick add dialog, but it will be filtered to only show nodes that have both an input and an output. When one is selected, the new node gets spliced into that wire. An individual wire can be detached from a node by first selecting the wire, then pressing and holding the shift key when dragging the wire off the node. The wire can then be reattached to another node or removed entirely by releasing the mouse button over an empty part of the workspace. If you press the shift key when dragging from a port with no wires selected, all of the wires will be moved. 